Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Expert. In today's episode, we upgrade our fabrication matrix, acquire a runic altar from Batania, and finally acquire our first osmium for our mechanism machines. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> All right, folks, so without further ado, let's uh, get into things. The uh, first thing that I want to do is I want to go about here, if we pop on over to our quest, the fabrication matrix, right? I want to get the multi-block structure for that going. So to do that, I know we're going to need this energizer from our, what's it called? from the, uh, I think it's Ad Astra. And I'll grab some of our dash down here. I'm currently converting some of this to make some more sieves, but we should just be able to plate this up, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe this is a lot more of a involved process than first initially thought. Um, We need a multi-servo press and it has to be a dash block. Okay, that's not horrible, but it's also not the greatest thing in the world because that means we need a lot more dash, like a lot more. So what we'll probably do in the meantime, we don't necessarily need, don't necessarily need this going. So we'll take those out and we'll honestly just throw a lot more dash inside of here for the time being just so this can keep constantly going like so right and uh we'll turn some of these into blocks and then we'll head over to our multi-servo press because i think we have uh i think we have that if i'm not mistaken yeah we do uh, can it just be... Yeah, it doesn't need a template. So this will give us three. Right, and the Energizer needs four. And then Mana Lapis. It also needs Overcharge Diamonds. So we need Infused Diamonds, which is Dimensional Shards. Right? Which, we have Dimensional Shards, but we can also get Crush End Stone fairly easily now that we have our uh, our end stone generation over here it's not too difficult so i'll grab some of this real quick for the time being and do it do it this way just so that way we can have a lot of this no longer detected but this should give us dimensional shards right and i need to uh okay what i'll probably do is this i'll probably set you in here and you in here and we need our filter tool i need to get a better system for this going uh i haven't had a ton of time to play in between episodes like between this episode and the last episode so that's kind of why i still have this similar infrastructure but we'll go like that and then put you in there so now you should save all this stuff right It took the diamonds while we were not paying attention, but we'll grab these dimensional shards. And then I think we also have more probably just in the uh, system from picking them up from goats. So come over here like this with a diamond. And I think we need three of them for the energizing for this. Oh, we only need two, but that's all right. We'll only do two and we'll come over here and we'll energize these now like so this should take not that much time at all in the meantime we'll look at the status on these these are done and we'll also go check more on our other dash that was smelting because we might be capable of uh it is only processed one ingot 
Is there any other way? Uses. No, it's just the arc furnace. I guess it's really just our power is the problem. I wonder if we can make the uh, the high voltage. We definitely could. I know that there's not an insulated version of these. So that might prove to be an issue, but we'll go for it. Why not? Uh, will you connect here? You connect there, you connect there. Yeah, okay. So we still don't have enough power coming in. What are you? Hmm. Let me look into this real quick. And when I do, I'll be right back to see if we can figure this out. Okay, folks. Well, I figured out that this is just, uh, just how this is. It sucks that Dash is like really gated behind this. So I guess it's kind of just a waiting game at this point, uh, which is annoying, but we can figure some other stuff to do. In the meantime, uh, I had some plans for some other things that I wanted to do because we do only have to wait for nine to craft up our guy. But anywho, I actually think we can take our lapis block and come over here, hopefully. We don't have any mana because that sucked it all up, which is uh, not fun. But yeah, uh, I found out that this guy, I figured out the quest that is, will give us the creative lava generator. What's it called? Uh, we just have to wait for that. But essentially, uh, once this is filled up, it'll be 10,000 mega buckets and we can run this all the time. Okay, now we're going to grab our mana lapis and have that ready for the block we need to make. So that way we will have to make it later. And in the meantime, while we wait for our dash, we will come over here to the schematic cannon and use these items that I've provided it right here. I've already got the schematic ready and everything, but we're doing this to make the runic altar from Batania because it needs to be crafted in a multi-block like this. This uh, was fairly easy to get, the hardest part being the, the mana diamonds, because you really just had to wait for the mana and whatnot, but not a very difficult thing to craft. Uh, this is going to allow us to get runes and whatnot from Batania that will hopefully help us get some more generating flowers. Uh, a lot of these need, like the endo flame is kind of what I'm going for just so we can use coal to get mana but there's a lot of other ones that need these these runes as well as like if we go to these runes we can see that uh just a lot of them need this and whatnot but uh the altar needs a mana diamond thrown in to craft it so we'll grab one of those real quick like so and we will first off break this block and then chuck you in like that. And then our altar is crafted up. I believe this also needs mana to make crafts, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. But we can also make some cool things too. Uh, we should be working towards maybe the... How far are we from like the... Maybe it details us in the quest. Hmm. So yeah, we also have to get the, the runes from Elemental Craft. And I actually made this rune inscriber and uh, inscription plate. I'm just not entirely sure how this works. 
for the most part. But there's our altar. That's the quest for that done. If we pop over here, I'll probably just throw it right there. It's got this cool animation and whatnot. So yeah. Um, with that being said, maybe we could look into, I'm still kind of waiting on that dash, so maybe we could look into some of this inscription stuff. Uh, if we go to, let's go for like a water rune, or a rune of water. So this needs the Claptrap's rune, which needs water essence, a snowball, and then a minor rune slate with a water gem of some sort. How are these crafted? We need a gem crystallizer, which this is not too hard to get. So we'll do we'll do that stuff real quick. So let's make a gym crystallizer. This being the most difficult part of that. Uh, we need some of these spring lane shards. Right over here, I was crafting some up in between episodes. Just so we had more of them at the ready. Are you in there? Okay. And now we have the gym crystallizer. So if we take a crystal I'm trying to figure out exactly how this works. Where? Yeah, the water. So a diamond and then the water and then a water crystal. So let's get some crystal right there. And then let's get some water, raw water shards. Yeah, let's see how this guy works. So if we pop over here, I have a water setup right here that I was using for the spring lane shards, but we'll tear it down just for the time being, just so we can test this out. So, oh yeah, I needed a diamond as well. Let's see if we can grab one of them real quick, like so. So, we, assuming we right click that guy in there, and then just realize that we need a, I actually need a water, a water, what's it called? The water shard so i'll get a small elemental uh, elemental container that way we can use this infuser right next to here so we'll do this like that throw you in there and we will now throw you in there you should hopefully see that you're getting I'm not exactly sure this is taking all of this I think it is hmm, none going over here that's fine I guess we can do this for the time being go like this and then pop, or no don't pop you in there take uh, the inert crystal okay so we'll then break you off and put you there diamond with this and then okay there we go so that's our crude water gem and then this is needed for this so let's grab you off of here like so and plop you there right and we'll grab our rune inscription chisel and i think we needed water essence i think we needed a snowball which is how do we get that water around a pure daisy is there any way to just get snowballs from last chiller 
Okay, so maybe we'll just get a snow block. So let's do some water. And let me get a shovel that preferably doesn't have silk touch on it. And we'll try this out real quick. See if this works for us. Um, I feel like this might need to be contained. Okay, folks, we've used this pure daisy to turn some water into a snow block. And that should hopefully give us some snowballs. As it did, I accidentally uh, blew out of here and I don't think I can get back up. We'll just replace the dirt. But we'll take this over to now our inscription table. Let's see how we do this. If we need a rune of water, we need this claptrap. Yeah, we also need the minor rune slate. So let's go grab some of that real quick. The minor. We actually have some of these, but I'm going to craft some more. Well, I guess we're not going to craft some more. But let's see now. So we have this snowball. And then our gym. And that should hopefully be it now. Do not know exactly how this works, so we'll have to see this. But I think, hmm, maybe like this. And then maybe right-click you. Is it going? Can't tell if it's going into there or not. Oh wait, there we go. We just kept right-clicking, and. That gave us the claptrap rune. Okay. And that also finished up our chapter two. Now, why did it say that we got all the runes when we didn't? That's kind of strange. Anywho. We'll uh, now make a rune of water, hopefully. Uh, we actually probably don't have the necessary uh mana for it at the current moment but we'll we'll just have to see so we need a water essence a mana feel we also need a mana powder which i think was just uh yeah we can throw gunpowder in there to get one of those and it should hopefully just be those four items. Uh, yeah. Throw this in here. Okay. And now we will set you up here. And we will say... Where's our wand of the forest? There it is. We'll bind you to there. Throw you in there. Now we just wait till this has enough mana. You can see it on the right side there. Um... Probably not going to be enough, realistically. We do have... Some lava. Not a ton. I'll turn this back on. If I, keep, if I can do it, oh my lord. But... Oh yeah, I think we also need a piece of living rock to drop on this. If it's like how... It normally is. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Living rock. So we'll hop on over here. You are almost done. Okay. Drop that there. And then right click you. And there's our rune of water. Very nice. A cobbler. Interesting. Wonder what this does. Anyway. Our desk should be cooked up now. So let's go do that real quick. I only have that process done. We'll uh, get some more runes going. Part of my infrastructure too that I'm probably going to upgrade is the 
creation of more like I think I'm gonna like automate the whole elemental craft uh, kind of deal that kind of setup so hopefully that'll work out better for us because I feel like we're gonna need a lot of that um, if we pop over here we need one to go in there also need to grab our energized uh, or overcharged diamonds these can actually be used for an upgraded an upgraded energizer might be might be interesting to partake in but yeah we just now need this last plating which there it is right there so let's see if we can go make the energizer now should hopefully be somewhat accessible to us but if we go energizer geyser um what else are we gonna say? oh we need one more of those so we'll go diamond we actually had three of them i'll make two more too so we can make the the reinforced one but i'll pop over here hopefully be able to accelerate this or did I break it? I might have broke it. I will be uh, right back when this is done. Okay. There's our overcharged diamonds. So we need to grab the energizer. Now, which we should be able to do. And then I think the last thing that I need to get is some steel. Yeah, some of these steel peel. Uh, pillars, excuse me. Just need iron plating. Which we never have iron plates. Ever. I'll honestly throw some over here. In this. Like so. Let those go. And grab some iron plates out of here. But we'll make this iron plating. Like so. And then we get steel plating like that now we don't have a steel we have these over here uh, so much running back and forth i really need to get this set up where we'll just pump into our system but we'll put you here like that makes more of that steel plating okay and that should hopefully be everything that we need for this i already have a schematic cannon set up with the other materials um let's see now i want to okay so we'll press this missing item steel pillar oh wait uses hold up there we go need to be a steel pillar not a uh what are you missing now? Missing item. Hmm. We'll set this to skip missing box and we'll see what it's missing. I think it might be the actual fabrication matrix, which we can place down ourselves. We don't need to. Okay. That's done now. And then we grab you. Why are you taking so long to break? Uh, can I wrench pick you up? Yeah, there we go. What if we put you here? I feel like this is not what this looks like. Hold up. Fabrication. Matrix uses. Seven vibrant quartz glass. I think that's what we're missing here. Hold up. I think that goes in the front. If I'm not mistaken. But I think we also... Or no, that's what I was making the induction smelter earlier. That I took out. Yeah, the quartz glass. 
I remember now. I remember. And then to make this vibrant, we just need to add some glowstone to it. Which we'll do real quick. Like so. Oh. Okay. And now, 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 now. We should be able to go... Like here. And then... Here, like that. Right? And then... Hopefully that's the structure completed. Uh, we'll just double check real quick by saying click to view. Okay. I'm guessing this is good. I think now we just need to get power to it with maybe some underneath shenanigans right here let me get a uh, couple of building blocks that is now that hooked up to power and let's see now if we can do that isnium or insium is that what it's called it was the one for platinum is platinum not in the or am i just spelling Plat. I'm just spelling that wrong. Platinum. I was spelling it wrong. Oh, uh, this needed metallurgic infuser with the isnium ingot, which needs isnium dust, which needs 16 silver and then liquid force. So we'll see about doing that real quick. We'll get a Hank of liquid force there it is and then we need silver dust which we have okay and then let's see if we can do this now hopefully it works uh, we have the structure yeah you're crafting now so that's cool and this is the dust that we need so i know we also needed this to so if I want to look at the metallurgic infuser, oh, we already have this one. Okay. So what was the uses for this to turn you into platinum? Needs diamond. Okay. So we can do that. But this only takes, hold on real quick. We'll grab these like so. I pump in it. I wonder if this will work. Like if I can just pump in from the side. Give it recognize. No, stop doing that. Did that break it? Because like, does this think it's a... Okay, no. Apparently not. Uh, we'll do this then. If I can... Where did that other fluid? Okay, I, I don't know where it went. I think it disappeared. Or fell or something. I don't know. We'll just grab some of this real quick. And we will smelt it up, hopefully. Like so. And in the meantime, while that's smelting, we'll go get some diamonds. Because we're trying to get osmium is the end goal of this. Uh, I'm not sure how many of these we're gonna need, so we'll just bring a bunch. We also should be getting a ton of diamonds if I, uh, logistic cool transporter, if I hook this back up real quick. I honestly do that. That way, uh, this can be running. It'll go through the sprinkling mesh and whatnot and get us more diamonds as well as emeralds. Anyway, we'll take these diamonds down to one of our metallurgic infusers with the the isnium there we go and we will say okay i want to just for the time oh don't do that i wanted to just disable you for just the time being but i guess that works too uh Got my inventory's full. 
of junk. Grab that. Okay. We now just need to put three of you in there and then. Huh. Diamond. Hold up. I thought we could. Let's see something real quick. Metal or er, platinum needs metal or confuser, which needs diamond. Maybe it needs to be diamond dust. So we'll make a couple of you in the pulverizer. Maybe this will be our solution. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, if we come over to our infuser. Yeah, there we go. Enrichment chamber. Once we have just one osmium, right? Which that'll be nice. So we have the platinum now. And now we use you to, I believe, pulverize you into the dust. And then... We have a chance in the centrifugal separator. So let's make that real quick. To. Oh, don't do that. Centrifugal. What do we not have for that? Not this. So we'll grab you. And. Hopefully, we get an osmium dust soon ish but i'll put you here let's do this pulverizer pulverize you and then grab our platinum dust and then throw now i thought there was an upgrade real quick i just want to double check i could have sworn there were or these are called augments uh let's see real quick Catalytic Reclamation Chamber. Uh, no. Radial Alchemic Amplifier. I thought there was an upgrade that would, like... Destroys excess non-primary. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. But we'll let this run. Hopefully we at least get the dust back or we get an osmium. That would be nice. Which we didn't. We didn't get either of those. So that means it's more diamonds. Okay, folks. I'm back now. I made like 16 platinum dust to let this run a lot more like consecutively over and over again. And I think that helped because once I did, like I ran the 16 just one time and I got seven osmium dust for it. So I don't know if like doing it in bigger batches like this is better, but we have the dust that we need. So really quickly, you need to be arced furnace, don't you? With ever burning air, something that we have not had to do in a while. Uh, let's see, ever burning air. And we'll come down to our arc furnace here. It's been cooking our dash. So incredibly slow. We'll go like this. And you. Okay, folks. That's our first osmium ingot. And with this, we will now come up here. And finally, the main purpose I wanted to do this was to make an enrichment chamber. So we will do some of that uh do we have logic circuits we do and mineral we do so we'll do a couple of these just for the time being uh two of them pretty sure which i just realized i don't think it needs uh i don't think it needs uh what's it called Two buckets worth. Yeah, it doesn't. But we can get a mineral bee. 
which is interesting because you can be used. Hmm. Neat. Anywho, we'll grab this, head back on up to our thing, and then I think we're pretty good here as far as the rest of the crafting goes. I think we just need two of these. And bada bing, bada boom. Enrichment chamber. That's very nice. It's going to open up some mechanism stuff for us. But yeah, guys, with, with that being said, I'm probably going to end the episode... Uh, Oh, we can't put that there. I'm probably going to end the episode here. Uh, it's been going on for a while. I feel like we did a decent amount of stuff for the most part. So, yeah, we will. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. As always, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see in the next one. And uh, I'll see you guys, see you guys later. Peace. <laughs>